Victoria Cross is the highest award granted to soldiers for acts of bravery, rescue and sacrifice and was first presented by Queen Victoria in 1857. Inscribed on the Victoria Cross are the words for valour and the same could be inscribed on Jesus Cross. We may not know, we cannot tell what pains he had to bear. Held for a night in the dungeon of the high priest's house and probably severely punished, then beaten and flogged mercilessly by Roman soldiers after Pilate gave his sentence of death, and then made to carry the heavy crossbeam through the streets of Jerusalem to the place of crucifixion, it's no wonder that Jesus stumbled on the way and needed help. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and they took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him, and they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry the cross. Crucifixion was not a pretty sight. It has been described as the most terrible and cruel death man has ever devised. To go back to Mrs. Alexander's hymn, but we believe it was for us he hung and suffered there. For us? Why? To show us that there is no limit, there is no cut-off point to God's love. As someone has said, it was love and not nails that held him to the cross. His arms outstretched say, I love you that much. You and me, with all our failures, with all those good intentions never fulfilled, with all our backsliding, with all our wrong choices and decisions. We can never earn God's love, we can only receive it humbly and thankfully. All that Jesus suffered on Good Friday, and it was real and should not be underestimated, he did with valour, an act of bravery, an act of sacrifice and rescue, to show that his love is unconditional and eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you suffered so much for our sakes, pain of mind as well as of body, of betrayal, denial and misunderstanding. As today we recall those terrible yet wonderful events, give us a new insight into your great love. In 1959, two years after Queen Victoria presented the first Victoria Cross, a young Swiss businessman, Henry Dunant, witnessed the Battle of Solferino in Italy. Many thousands of soldiers on both sides were left to die because their wounds were unattended through lack of care and medical assistance. And Henry was deeply moved and upset by the scene and was inspired to found a group of volunteers who would be medically trained and who would care for all those who suffered in war. It was to be a service to all who needed help regardless of which side they fought for. And this led to the establishment of the Red Cross in Geneva in 1863. The Red Cross became an internationally recognised symbol of neutral care and healing offered to all. For this brilliant idea he was awarded the Nobel, first Nobel Peace Prize in 1901. And perhaps there is no better or widely recognised symbol worldwide than the cross, the simple cross of, of Jesus. In his letter to the Ephesians, Paul has this to say about the cross. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your being 
with power through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The breadth, the length, the height, and the depth of the cross. The breadth of the cross. Jesus' arms reach out to all, whoever they or we may be, young and old, good and bad, those at the centre or at the margins of the church, those full of faith and those who have little or no faith, the secure and the insecure, those who are able and the disabled. Jesus' arms outstretched on the cross embrace everyone without distinction. The length of the cross shows us in a very stark and vivid way the length to which the love of God is prepared to go right to the very end and even beyond. The height of the cross, the cross points up reminding us that life is eternal, there is something more to life than the number of years we spend here on earth. It points up to remind us that we have souls and that our souls, who we really are, live on. The cross points up to tell us that the spiritual side of life is important. The depth of the cross, the cross points down to assure us that even in the very depths of despair, even in our own personal hells, Jesus is there to bring us comfort and strength, healing and hope, and in time to lift us up into the light and peace of his presence. Yes, Jesus' cross is a red cross of sacrifice, the red cross of healing and rescue without distinction. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we marvel again today at your astonishing love, the way you endured the agony of the cross and the darkness of the tomb, not because you had to, but because you chose to. We praise you that despite the jeers and ridicule you faced, your concern was always for others rather than yourself and thus you freely chose the lonely path of the cross. Above all, we praise you for your faithfulness to the end. Though you could have saved yourself, you preferred instead to save the world. As we recall the events of Good Friday, may we always remember that the message of the cross is the message of your love. And so in gratitude and humility, may we give ourselves in your service and glory only in your cross. Amen. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ draw you to himself, and grant that you find in his cross a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sins forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, and remain with you always. Amen.